northeastern Lebanon, the Bekaa Valley. Here, at this archaeological site, stand the ruins of Heliopolis, built in the 4th century BC by Alexander the Great to honor Zeus. But beneath the Corinthian columns and remnants of both Greek and Roman architecture, Welcome to the bewildering world of Baalbek, a mesmerizing ancient city nestled in Lebanon's Bikaye Valley. Imagine colossal stone structures so immense that they defy our understanding of ancient engineering. Stones weighing over 800 tons precisely cut and transported with techniques lost to time. Who built these awe-inspiring temples and how did they achieve such architectural marvels? Each stone, a silent sentinel, bears witness to the unfathomable ingenuity of bygone eras. Join us as we delve into the mysteries of Baalbek, unraveling the secrets behind its megalithic wonders and exploring the legacy of a civilization whose ingenuity continues to baffle modern science and captivate imaginations worldwide. Body embark on a journey to the heart of mystery, where the ancient city of Baalbek lies ensconced within Lebanon's Bikaya Valley. Here, amidst the whispering winds of time, stands an awe-inspiring testament to human history, the renowned Roman temple complex, a sentinel of civilization's past. Baalbek's story unfolds across millennia, a tapestry woven with threads of conquest and cultural exchange. From its obscure Phoenician origins to its prominence as Heliopolis during the Hellenistic era, the city has been a crucible of civilization, shaped by the ebb and flow of empires. The Phoenicians, masters of the sea, are believed to have first laid the foundations of Baalbek, imbuing it with their maritime prowess and mercantile spirit. The very name, Baalbek, echoes the reverence for the Phoenician god Baal, a testament to the city's sacred roots. Yet Baalbek's fate was entwined with the shifting tides of power. Through epochs, it passed from one imperial hand to another, each leaving its indelible mark upon its storied stones. From the Seleucids to the Romans, from Byzantine to Islamic rule, Baalbek bore witness to the rise and fall of mighty empires, each adding layers to its rich tapestry of history. Join us as we unravel the enriched past of Baalbek, delving into the depths of time to uncover the secrets of its origins and the echoes of empires that once held sway over its hallowed grounds. Baalbek was a major place of worship for several ancient civilizations dating all the way back to 9000 BC. What you're seeing here are the Baalbek stones, which are six massive Roman monoliths, including the pregnant woman, which is the largest hewn stone in the world. In the cradle of the Mediterranean, Lebanon's story unfolds like the pages of an ancient tome, its narrative woven with the threads of strategic importance and cultural diversity. Long before the sands of time obscured the footprints of antiquity, Lebanon bore witness to the rise of the Phoenicians, masters of the sea whose legacy echoes across the waves of history. From their bustling ports, they forged trade routes that stretched like sinews across the vast expanse of the Mediterranean, seeding colonies that blossomed into thriving hubs of commerce and culture. But Lebanon's tale is not one of solitary sovereignty. Like a prized jewel coveted by empires, it endured the touch of conquerors who left their indelible imprint upon its sacred soil. From the mighty grasp of the Assyrians to the resplendent reign of the Romans, Lebanon stood as a crossroads of civilizations, absorbing the myriad hues of influence that painted its cultural canvas. Yet, it was the shadow of the Ottoman Empire that cast its longest shadow upon Lebanon's history, shaping its destiny for centuries to come. Under the Sultan's gaze, Lebanon emerged as a mosaic of faiths and traditions, its landscapes etched with the scars of conquest and the whispers of resistance. And then came the French, bearers of a mandate that carved lines upon the map, forging the contours of modern Lebanon. In their wake, they left not only borders, but also the seeds of a nascent nation, 
laying the groundwork for the political landscape that defines Lebanon today. Join us as we journey through the annals of time, tracing the footsteps of ancient mariners and imperial conquerors to unravel the tapestry of Lebanon's history, a tale as diverse and vibrant as the land itself. Baalbek's most notable feature is its monumental Roman temple complex, among the best preserved in the world. The three main temples are Temple of Jupiter, Temple of Bacchus, and Temple of Venus. In the shadows of time, the ruins of Baalbek lay cloaked in mystery, their ancient whispers beckoning to intrepid explorers from distant lands. It was not until the 19th century that the veil of obscurity began to lift, as European pioneers embarked on a quest to unearth the secrets of this site. Among these daring adventurers were German and French archaeologists, driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a reverence for the past. With pickaxes and parchment in hand, they delved into the depths of history, meticulously documenting their findings and piecing together the puzzle of Baalbek's storied past. Their laborious efforts bore fruit as the ancient stones yielded their secrets, unveiling a tapestry of unparalleled richness and complexity. Baalbek emerged from the shadows of antiquity, its architectural splendor and historical significance captivating the imagination of scholars and enthusiasts alike. Today, Baalbek stands as a testament to Lebanon's enduring legacy, a testament to the resilience of a nation shaped by the tides of history. From its humble Phoenician beginnings to its zenith under the rule of mighty empires, the city bears witness to the ebb and flow of time a living testament to the triumphs and tribulations of bygone eras. At the heart of Baalbek lie the majestic Roman temples, towering monuments to human ingenuity and artistic prowess. Imposing and grand, they stand as silent sentinels, guardians of a bygone age, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the opulence and grandeur of ancient civilizations. Baalbek is home to one of the most impressive ancient temple complexes in the world. Known for its colossal megaliths and grand architectural structures, Baalbek has fascinated historians, archaeologists, and engineers for centuries. This video delves into the construction of Baalbek's megalithic sites and ruins, exploring the techniques, tools, and purposes behind these monumental edifices. The foundation stones of Baalbek, known as the Trilithon, Archaeologists today believe that this great Neolithic stone circle has stood on the plains of Wiltshire, England for no less than 5,000 years. ...are among the largest quarried stones in the world. These three massive stones, each weighing approximately 800 tons, form part of the base platform of the Temple of Jupiter. Additionally, the nearby Stone of the Pregnant Woman, weighing around 1,000 tons, adds to the site's mystery and grandeur. The construction of these megalithic structures began with the quarrying of limestone blocks from nearby quarries. The sheer size of the stones raises questions about the methods used to extract, transport, and position them. While the exact techniques remain a subject of debate, several theories have been such as the lever and roller system, lubrication and sliding, ramps, and earthworks. The use of earthen ramps and temporary structures could have aided in the lifting and positioning of the massive blocks. The construction of Baalbek's temple showcases advanced architectural techniques and an understanding of engineering principles far ahead of their time. The temples were built with a keen eye for symmetry, proportion, and durability, reflecting the Roman mastery of architecture, mortise and tenon joints. To ensure stability, the stones were often fitted with mortise and tenon joints, a technique that involves interlocking stones using precisely carved projections and recesses. Metal clamps. Iron clamps were sometimes used to hold the stones together, providing additional structural integrity. Precision cutting. The stones were cut with remarkable precision, ensuring a snug fit without the need for mortar. This technique not only enhanced the aesthetic appeal, but also contributed to the longevity of the structures. The temples of Baalbek were primarily built for religious purposes, 
serving as places of worship and pilgrimage. The grandiosity of the structures was meant to reflect the power and glory of the gods they were dedicated to, particularly Jupiter, Bacchus, and Venus. The size and scale of the temples also symbolized the might and technological prowess of the Roman Empire. Baalbek was never entirely abandoned, but systematic archaeological excavations began in the 19th century. European explorers and archaeologists, notably from Germany and France, played crucial roles in documenting and preserving the site. Their work revealed the sophisticated construction techniques and cultural significance of Baalbek's ruins. Baalbek's historical significance can be linked to various historical events and places, reflecting its importance in different eras and its connections to broader historical narratives. Baalbek is renowned for its Roman temple complex, including the temples of Jupiter, Bacchus, and Venus. The site's most astonishing feature is the Trilithon, three massive stones, each weighing around 800 tons, forming part of the Temple of Jupiter's foundation. Nearby, the Stone of the Pregnant Woman, weighing approximately 1,000 tons, adds to the site's mystique. The methods used to quarry, transport, and position these megaliths remain speculative. Theories range from lever and roller systems to lubrication and sliding techniques, and the use of ramps and earthworks. The precision with which these stones were cut and assembled suggests an advanced understanding of engineering principles. Similarly, Egypt's pyramids, particularly the Great Pyramid of Giza, have long fascinated historians and archaeologists. The construction techniques used to build these monumental structures are subjects of ongoing debate. Theories include the use of massive labor forces, sophisticated knowledge of geometry and astronomy, and innovative engineering methods. The Great Pyramid's alignment with cardinal points, the precision of its construction, and the massive size of its limestone blocks parallel the mysteries of Baalbek's megaliths. Both sites challenge our understanding of ancient technology and raise questions about the capabilities and knowledge of these early civilizations. The possibility of shared knowledge or cultural exchanges between ancient Lebanon and Egypt adds another layer of intrigue. The Phoenicians, the ancient inhabitants of the Levant, were renowned seafarers and traders. Their extensive trade networks might have facilitated the exchange of ideas and technologies with Egypt. Evidence of Egyptian influence in Lebanon can be seen in various artifacts and architectural styles. The use of massive stones in construction, precise cutting techniques, and the alignment of structures with celestial bodies suggest a shared or parallel evolution of engineering knowledge. Both Baalbek and Egypt's pyramids were built for religious and ceremonial purposes. The temples of Baalbek were dedicated to Roman gods, reflecting the power and glory of the divine. The pyramids of Egypt served as tombs for pharaohs, embodying their divine status and ensuring their journey to the afterlife. The grandeur and scale of these structures symbolized the might of the civilizations that built them. They were designed to inspire awe, demonstrating the technological and cultural achievements of their builders. The mysteries of Baalbek and Egypt have captivated explorers and archaeologists for centuries. Systematic excavations in the 19th and 20th centuries revealed the sophistication of these ancient sites. European archaeologists played significant roles in documenting and preserving both Baalbek and Egypt's monuments, uncovering their historical and cultural significance. Today, Baalbek and Egypt continue to inspire wonder and curiosity. Modern technology, such as ground-penetrating radar and advanced imaging techniques, offers new insights into their construction and purpose. However, many questions remain unanswered, fueling the enduring fascination with these ancient mysteries. Baalbek and Egypt, with their monumental structures and erotic construction methods, represent some of humanity's most remarkable achievements. The possible connections between these ancient civilizations highlight the shared ingenuity and knowledge that defined their architectural legacies. As we continue to explore and study these sites, they remind us of the enduring mystery and awe that the ancient world inspires. 
The world is dotted with ancient megalithic structures that continue to captivate and mystify us. These monumental edifices, found across various continents, reflect the ingenuity and architectural prowess of early civilizations. We will be drawing parallels with the grand temples of Baalbek and uncovering the common threads that connect these ancient wonders. There are numerous other remarkable megalithic structures around the world that showcase the ingenuity and architectural prowess of ancient civilizations. Here are a few notable examples. The Great Pyramid of Cholula, Mexico. The Great Pyramid of Cholula, also known as Tlachihualtepetl, is located in the Mexican state of Puebla. It is the largest pyramid by volume in the world and serves as a testament to the architectural capabilities of the ancient Mesoamerican civilizations. Built by the pre-Columbian cultures, this pyramid is unique due to its massive base, which surpasses that of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The pyramid was constructed in several stages over centuries, utilizing adobe bricks and local materials. The structure's expansion reflects the evolving religious and cultural practices of the civilizations that built it. Primarily a religious center, the Great Pyramid of Cholula was dedicated to the god Quetzalcoatl. Its strategic location and grand scale symbolized the city's importance as a spiritual and ceremonial hub. Machu Picchu, Peru, Machu Picchu, the famed Inca citadel, is situated in the Andes Mountains of Peru. Built in the 15th century under the reign of Emperor Pachacuti, it is renowned for its sophisticated dry stone construction and its dramatic location. The Incas employed precise stone cutting techniques to fit large stones together without mortar. This method, known as ashlar masonry, provided resilience against earthquakes. Machu Picchu served as a royal estate and a religious site, reflecting the Incas' advanced understanding of agriculture, astronomy, and urban planning. China, the Great Wall, and the Terracotta Army. The Great Wall of China is one of the most iconic megalithic structures in the world, stretching over 13,000 miles. Its construction spanned several dynasties, with the most significant work occurring during the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644. The wall was built using a variety of materials, including earth, wood, bricks, and stone, depending on the region's resources. Its purpose was primarily defensive, protecting Chinese states and empires from northern invasions. Beyond defense, the Great Wall also facilitated trade and control over the Silk Road, illustrating its multifaceted role in Chinese history. The Terracotta Army, discovered in Xi'an, China, is an extraordinary archaeological find. Consisting of thousands of life-sized clay soldiers, horses, and chariots, it was created to accompany the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, in the afterlife. Each figure was crafted with incredible detail, reflecting the high level of artistry and the centralized power of the Qin dynasty. The army symbolizes the emperor's authority and the ancient Chinese belief in the afterlife, showcasing the civilization's complex spiritual and political systems. New Zealand, the Moraki Boulders. The Moraki boulders, found along the coast of Otago in New Zealand, are a natural phenomenon that has captivated both locals and tourists. These large, spherical stones are scattered across the beach, each with unique patterns and compositions. Unlike the man-made structures of Baalbek, the Moiraki boulders are natural formations, created by the concretion process over millions of years. The boulders consist of mud, fine silt, and clay, bound together by calcite. The boulders hold significant cultural importance to the Maori people, who have various legends explaining their origins. They are believed to be the remains of eel baskets, gourds, and kumara washed ashore from the wreck of the legendary canoe, Arituru, Stonehenge, England. Located in Wiltshire, England, Stonehenge is one of the most famous prehistoric monuments in the world. Composed of a ring of standing stones, each weighing around 25 tons, it dates back to around 3000-2000 BCE. The stones were transported from as far as 150 miles away. The exact methods remain speculative, 
involving sledges, rollers, and possibly even waterways. Stonehenge is believed to have been used for ceremonial or astronomical purposes, aligning with solstices and equinoxes, indicating a sophisticated understanding of astronomy by its builders. Gobekli Tepe, Turkey Gobekli Tepe is an archaeological site in southeastern Turkey, considered one of the oldest known temple complexes in the world, dating back to around 9600 BCE. Massive stone pillars, some weighing up to 20 tons, were arranged in circular formations. The site was constructed using simple tools, before the advent of metalworking. The site is believed to have been a religious or ceremonial center, predating the development of agriculture and permanent settlements, challenging traditional views of early human society. Easter Island Moai, Chile. Easter Island, a remote island in the Pacific Ocean, is famous for its nearly 900 giant stone statues, known as Moai, created by the Rapa Nui people. The statues, some weighing up to 75 tons, were carved from volcanic tuff and transported across the island using a combination of sledges, rollers, and likely a system of ropes and manpower. The Moai are thought to represent ancestral figures, erected to honor and deify important leaders and chiefs, reflecting the islanders' complex social and religious structures. The Pyramids of Giza, Egypt. The Pyramids of Giza, particularly the Great Pyramid, are among the most iconic and well-studied ancient structures. Built during the Fourth Dynasty of the Old Kingdom, around 2580-2560 BCE, the pyramids were constructed using millions of limestone and granite blocks, transported via sledges and ramps. The precision in the alignment and placement of these stones showcases advanced engineering skills. The pyramids served as tombs for pharaohs, intended to ensure their journey to the afterlife, reflecting the ancient Egyptians' religious beliefs and their emphasis on the afterlife. The Acropolis, Greece. The Acropolis of Athens is an ancient citadel containing several historically significant buildings, most notably the Parthenon, constructed in the 5th century BCE. Built using fine marble from nearby quarries, the Parthenon is a testament to the advanced architectural techniques of ancient Greece, including the use of precise measurements and sophisticated engineering. The Acropolis served as a religious center dedicated to Athena, the patron goddess of Athens, symbolizing the city's wealth, power, and cultural achievements. Nan Madol, Micronesia. Nan Madol is an ancient city built on a series of artificial islets off the coast of Pohnpei in Micronesia dating back to the 8th century CE. The city was constructed using basalt and coral boulders, some weighing several tons, transported and positioned to create an elaborate network of canals and structures. Nanmadol served as the ceremonial and political center of the Saudalur dynasty, reflecting the complex social and political organization of the society. Conclusion from Stonehenge and Gobekli Tepe to the Moai of Easter Island and the Pyramids of Giza, these ancient structures around the world illustrate the remarkable capabilities of early human societies. They reflect a deep understanding of engineering, astronomy, and social organization, and continue to inspire awe and curiosity. These monuments are a testament to the universal human drive to create lasting legacies, connecting us across time through our shared heritage of architectural and cultural achievement. The megalithic structures of America, China, and New Zealand, like the temples of Baalbek, stand as remarkable testaments to human creativity and engineering. From the massive pyramids of Cholula and the intricate stonework of Machu Picchu, to the defensive might of the Great Wall and the artistic grandeur of the Terracotta Army, these sites reflect the diverse cultural and historical legacies of their builders. The natural wonder of the Moiraki boulders adds a unique dimension, blending geological marvel with cultural mythology. Together, these ancient structures highlight the universal human drive to create enduring monuments that speak to our shared heritage and enduring fascination with the past. All this has made our understanding of ancient structures clearer 
but also intrigued us to learn more about the mystery of the world and those who came before us. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.